you can take a circle shape and create a free amazing looking logo with your canva we're going to jump in and create an umbrella business logo together let's do this open up your canvas you can then select or go to your shapes and lines at a circle in order for you to start creating your business logo in this instance we're creating an umbrella then you're going to size the shape of your circle and then change the color to the, the colors of your brand so let's use a bright beautiful blue color on this logo design next you're going to select your circle and duplicate the shape and then you're going to change the second circle to a darkish bluish color in order for you to have nice umbrella color shape then reduce the middle circle and add it to the top circle what we're creating here is an umbrella shape And you're creating something that looks like this that has those curves and then you're going to duplicate again the middle shape and then change it to the first blue and then reduce the circle to a shape that looks like that next you're going to add a square so you can press rectangle to add your square and then with your square change the color of that and make it the same as your background if you're using a black background change it to black if you're using a white background like me then make sure that it's the same and then cover your umbrella and edit to halfway point like this next you're gonna grab that middle circle that you've created and then duplicate the shape and then change this color and make it white we are going now to create the umbrellas dense and then you make them large from point to point increase them so that it is from point to point and then you duplicate that shape and do that for the second umbrella duplicate great stuff our umbrella is shaping up quite nicely then we're going to create the top section of our umbrella and make it nice and beautiful so we're going to press C for circle and then we reduce it to a small circle that we're going to add to the top of our umbrella and send it to back and then press L for line to create the top section of our umbrella we're going to change that to gray and change the end points to round make it a nice size 10 and reduce that to a small point Next, let's finalize our design. We're going to highlight everything. We group it and then we can lock it. And then we can then finalize our design. The, the next step, we are going to press L for a line and we're going to make the size of our umbrella stock to be like a 12 like we did on top there we change it to a 12 and then we're going to rotate the shape the line add it to our middle and then add it so that it is 
showing that way and then copy that and put it on the side because we're going to use it at just now now we're going to add text so we're going to press t for text and add the name of our business so because we're creating something for security for shelter it depends on what the name you're using i'm going to use shield and i'm going to use lastica as my font and I'm going to change color of the name to this nice, beautiful green we're using. And then press T again for text to write the tag of our business. So in this instance, we are doing a financial services. And then we're going to get our line that we've grabbed earlier on and say, and add it to the bottom of our design. So I'm going to reduce the line so that it doesn't snap. Just reduce it and then go to our elements and search for a curved half shape. This one is called modern geo semicircle line. So you're just going to add that to finalize your design of your umbrella and then reduce the semicircle so that it's the same size okay so we're gonna make things look nice and pretty and we're gonna just make our aesthetic beautiful I'm going to duplicate this shape so that I have two of these and I'm going to reduce this to a smaller size. Reduce this to another smaller size. And then change the color and make it orange so we can increase the size of our umbrella stick. And I'm going to use that little point of mine and add it to the umbrella handle so that we have it as rounded at the corner there and change that color to that orangish color so that it is rounded and it looks absolutely pretty and there's our beautiful design you're going to download this as a transparent background but because you have all of these white shapes you have to change it and re remove the white shape so we're going to go share and we're going to click download and transparent background and then we're going to go to remove.bg so you're going to go www.remove.bg and then you're going to add your design over there so that you take off the extra shapes that you've added and then you click on download and then you head over to photo p to convert it to 3d and then you're going to select templates and on your templates you're going to pick a mock-up that you're going to use for your business to showcase your logo you could pick any of these mock-ups this one is my favorite i like this one too i love this one that we're going to use today and you're going to click and open it and once it's open you're going to click and open the link and then it opens up the mock-up and then you're going to double click where it says your logo here on the checkered box you double click and it opens up the background of the mock-up and the creator of the mock-up shows you how you should add your own logo then you're going to hide the example in order for you to add your own logo so you hide the example by clicking on the eye then you go to your downloads and you find the logo that we've downloaded from remove.bg and as shown by the designer we're gonna make this large and make it fill the canvas similar way that the designer showed us and then you're going to press command s or control s to change this photo to a smart object once that's done you click on the first tab to go grab your absolutely gorgeous looking business logo that you could create for 
3 on Canva using Shapes. In order for you to download this, you're going to click on File and you're going to export the PNG file or any file format that you want to use and it is absolutely done. If you are interested in, a, in learning Canva more, I do have a Canva course on Udemy that you can go access on the link below. Thank you so much for joining me today. I will see you with our next video.